Hello everyone, welcome to the world of Lean Six Sigma. I am Mohit Sharma, your mentor and coach on Lean Six Sigma issues and problems. Today we are going to do a case study. In a leading BPO in India, there is a team which used to work on electronic part setup in the systems. So this team's job was to set up the parts which were asked by the customers to set them in the system as they were new parts which were introduced by them in their products. So what this team used to do, they used to set these parts up by looking and searching at the customer's website and if they're not getting in the specification details, they'll contact the vendors and then once the information is received, they will update that information back on the system. The team has agreed to part setup of the components within two working days and there was a huge delay in this process. The team was taking eight working days to set this up. And then management decided to resolve this issue and they appointed a Lean Six Sigma team that was led by a quality black belt. And then they initiated the project. The first thing that the team did was that they followed eight step Lean project methodology in which the step one was to define the problem. Step two was to map the value stream and identify the Kaizens. And step five to eight were the solutions that were implemented and there were control plans that were also implemented in the process. The first thing was to understand the voice of business and voice of customer. It is called VOC VOB tool in which the voice of the customer is written on the right hand side and the customer's voice was that there is a problem in the part setup type. And the customer issue was that if the part setup is late then it can delay their production because their engineers will not be able to order that part and once they are not able to order it they have to wait and that is when the overall production will be delayed. The critical customer requirement was to reduce the part setup time to minimum and that gives the team critical to quality which is also known as CTQ. It was to reduce the part setup tat from 8 working days to 2 working days and this 8 working days was decided by looking at the data for last 3 months. The voice of the business was that the part setup is taking a lot of time and the business issue was that they had unsatisfied customers and the critical business requirement was they want to reduce the part setup time and that gives the team a CTP which is known as critical to process. So that was again mapped to what the CTQ was. So once the CTQ and CTP are same, the team picked this as a project. We want to hear the voice of the customer and voice of the business together and understand whether they are talking about the same issue. So once the issue is same, once CTQ and CTP are same, then the team can do that as a project. The next thing in the case study was the team created a project charter. This project charter has six elements. The first one is called the business case. Second is problem statement. Third is goal statement. Fourth is scope. Fifth is milestone. And the sixth is team charter. So the problem statement was that measured over the last three months, Turnaround time for part setup process is 8 working days. So they took data. So the baselining should be done with the last 3 to 6 months of data. And then you can decide what is the problem. Customer will only talk about subjective problem. You have to put data into it and make it objective. So once the problem was identified, then the goal statement was taken. There were two goals that the team took. The first goal was to reduce the part setup tat from 8 working days to 2 working days and the second goal was to increase the rolled first pass yield from 13.68% to 75% by July 2022. The scope of the project was that only the part setup team was in the scope and rest of the departments were out of scope and the milestones, the team started the project on January 2022 and they finished it by July 2022. Team Charter includes sponsor, champion, mentor, process owner and team members. So all the big players in the company were part of this or the sponsor and the champion of this project. Friends, you can buy my authored books on Amazon. My first book is 8 Steps to Problem Solving which talks about Six Sigma concepts. And my second book is Continuous Improvement the Lean Way which talks about the lean concepts. The next thing that the team did was to identify the reasons of high turnaround time and some of the reasons under people head were human errors and rework, lot of manual activities that were involved, vendors were taking time to respond, 
and under modern nature they had different time zones in which the teams were working with the vendors the measurements were no clear linkages with metrics and no real time update under machine we had old and outdated systems and legacy tools under material no structured process documentation was there and no process standardization was there under method we have inefficient request flow and difficult to track action plans they were also part of method after doing the brainstorming session and identifying the root causes to this high turnaround time team also wanted to study the end to end value stream map so they created the current state value stream map for the process in which the first step was that the part info was received the part is allocated to the engineer and then the part is searched on web after that the information was again searched on other systems and customer websites so post that if the information is received it will not go to the vendor but if the information is not received they will contact the vendor for information they will update the information in the system once it is received from the vendor and then the case is closed and the report is sent so if you see all these green and red times so green is represented as cycle time of the process step and red is the wait time between the two process steps so the first step takes 2 minutes second step take 2 minutes the third step which is part scanning on the web will take 42 minutes next step takes 37 minutes contacting the vendor only takes 15 minutes and updating the information takes 10 minutes and case reported and closed will take 10 minutes the major problem was the wait time between these process steps so once the information is received and part is allocated there was a wait time of 240 minutes the part was not automatically allocated to the engineers it was done manually and once the engineer was allocated they will start their search after a delay of 273 minutes so there was another huge wait time which was with the vendor they used to send an email to the vendor for information and vendor used to take 5 working days to respond and even more sometimes so this all was a huge problem the road first pass yield was also low so the part search on the web had 40% first pass yield which indicated that the times the engineers were searching the part on web 40% of the times they were able to get that information and when they used to contact the customer website and search it on the other internal tools they were able to get the information 75% of the times when they contact the customer in through the email they used to get 50% of the times the information that they need so that includes the rolled first pass seal to 13.68% only the total cycle time was 118 minutes and total wait time was 2963 minutes overall process capability was 118 divided by the sum of these two will give us the 3.83% process capability process capability formula is total cycle time divided by total time so total time is the summation of cycle time plus wait time so when we calculate process capability for this process it was only 3.83% team also identified it and non it kaizens it kaizens are marked in green and non it kaizens are marked in red so all the it kaizens which were identified were auto allocation tool that was one of the it kaizens remove multiple systems and bring one tool for info search that was the second it kaizen and the third one was the auto search feature on customer website so engineer doesn't have to go to the website and search they only have to press one button it will do the entire search in internal tools and external customer websites automatically and fetch the information non it kaizens they created standard process documents for some of the difficult products which they were not able to identify the unique products and they also worked with the vendors and they said they will contact them over the phone rather than over the emails so they changed their way of working and they started contacting vendors over phone that reduces the wait time and a fresher training was given to the resources so that they can identify the information in the first go and can update that information back in the system in the first go and that too correctly friends you can buy my authored books on amazon my first book is eight steps to problem solving which talks about six sigma concepts and my second book is continuous improvement the lean way which talks about the lean concepts 
So with all these changes implemented, the new process was the cycle time was reduced to 26 minutes and the wait time was reduced only to 12 minutes and the process capability has gone up to 68.4%. So the initial process capability was 3.8%. And the rolled first pass yield has gone up to 13.68% to 76.4%. Then the team started delivering the overall product information in two days of working tag. So friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you really enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. I will see you in my next upcoming video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.